my channel and happy new year can you believe it is the new year i am shocked this year has just flown by so fast and i literally can't wait for what 2019 has in store for me and so without further ado i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like a bad bitch gold a uh, smoky eye vibe and if so then keep on watching starting off with this look i'm picking up my urban decay naked skin concealer in light medium and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that all over my lids to create a nice base and to also even out my pigmentation to blend out the product i'm picking up the real techniques dense brush and i'm just pressing this into my skin that way i can create a nice layer all over my lids and to also distribute the product evenly To set my lids with, I'm picking up the Laura Mercier setting powder and applying that all over my lids. I'll go ahead and take the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm going to apply this cool warm tone brown shade as my first transition shade and I'm just going to focus that in the crease. The next shade I'm picking up is the shade Pooter and I'm going to apply that all over my transition shade right on top of my first one. I just want to add a little bit more warmth and more depth into my eyes. I just want to show that warmness because I don't want my eyes to be too dark with the smoky eye. So I'm switching palettes and I'm going to my sultry palette and I'm taking the color dystopian and I'm just going to apply that into my outer V and focusing that there. I want to add a little bit more depth and start a little bit of my smoky eye going. So I'm going to buff this out and I'm focusing that on my outer corner of my third eye and I'm just going to blend that into the middle. Going back into my eyes on the outer corner and I'm applying a little bit more black because black is difficult to work with. If you apply too much, it is hard to take off and so I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more because a little bit goes a long way. And I just want to make sure I create enough pigment for my lid and that way I create that effect that it is um, smoky. Alright, so once I finish smoking out my eyes, I'm picking up this gold shade Queen and I'm applying that into my inner lids. It is such a beautiful color and I love it. So I'm applying that all over. I want this blinging all over my lids. I just love it. I cannot express to you how much. Like, just look at it as I'm applying it. I know my edges are looking a little rough, but don't worry. Later on, we're going to be applying some foundation and we're just going to blend the edges in with our foundation. I know that sounds really weird, but... It's just powder, it's not going to hurt or anything, and so it's going to create a nice clean look once we apply our foundation and cut our concealer right under our eyes. It'll just look really nice and well blended because we don't want to look on fleek for this New Year's Eve look. And I'm not sure what I'm doing at this point. I just keep looking at myself, but I mean, just look at this final product. Um, cheese, okay, wow. Now, look at the look. It looks pretty awesome, I think, so far. I'm really feeling this look. So when I'm almost done with the eyes, such as lashes and brows, I go ahead and apply some moisturizer all over my face, and I'm taking the Belief Aqua Balm and applying that all over my face. I really love this moisturizer during this time because it is so hydrating, and my skin gets so dry in the winter time, and I don't know what it is, but I really need to rejuvenate it, and this has really helped my skin. So... Definitely try it out if you have some dry skin. It's really good with oily skin as well. Basically any skin type. I'm loving it. Once I finish applying my moisturizer, I'm taking my favorite Dramatic Lashes. It's Opulent by Eyelore and I'm applying this on. So I'm going to go ahead and trim them real quick and then I'm going to show you how to apply them on. The way I apply my lashes is using my fingers. I cannot use tweezers to save my life. And so I go ahead and just lay the lashes on top of my lash line and I'm pushing it into my inner corners first. That way it can latch on and then I'm pressing my outer corner as well so it can latch on. That way I know my bands are stick sticking in. 
And so then once they stick on, I'm just pressing them down and putting pressure onto it that way they can stick on. I know this isn't like a professional way to do it, but this is my method and I find it the easiest way rather than tweezers and I'm not trying to poke my eye out. <laughs> And now I don't know what it is, but with my left eye, I just laid the lash down and then I like press it all against my lash line and then bam, it just like sticks on. And so I just make sure like my corners are on there and so I just press them again to make sure that they're sticking on. And I mean, this works. I mean, I've, they look good still, right? Oh. Bam, here we have it. The lashes are on and tacked. I love them. These are so dramatic and like they're really wispy. And so these are all my all time favorite lashes. Jumping right into the face, I am taking the Benefit Professional Primer and I'm taking a pea sized amount and applying that all over my face. I like to focus that more on my T zone and my cheeks and then mainly my um, smile lines because I crease a lot there. Because your girl likes to smile, you know. Smiling's always good. So as I am applying my primer, I am pressing this into my skin. I want to make sure that the product is seeping into my pores and that it is blurring it out and to also to make my skin look a little bit smoother. Next, I am picking up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Y335 and this is my all-time favorite foundation for night outs or pictures, just anything. Um, this foundation has no flashbacks when you take pictures and it just looks seamless. Like it looks amazing on the skin and it's really lightweight and not heavy at all. So I highly recommend this um, just whenever you're going on night out or just for any photo opportunities. It's really great, I love it. And so to apply my foundation with, I am taking this Real Techniques flat brush and I am just brushing down. Well, except for my forehead, it's a little bit harder. But it, the best way to apply it is to brush down, that way all the hairs on your face is going downwards as well and that way you don't create a lot of streaks. And so once I finish applying this on my skin, I am taking the beauty sponge and just blending this all out so that way everything can be blended out seamlessly and having my skin look flawless. Once I finish blending out my foundation, I am taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in light medium and I am focusing that under my eyes, um, just highlighting and to also brighten my skin up a little bit and to also clean out the edges um, from my shadows. I want to create a nice, sharp, clean look. And while I can see, I'm also going to highlight my face, so I'm going to go down my T-zone and on my forehead, around my nose, and on my cupid's bow because I have some redness around there, and then on my chin. I'm taking the beauty sponge again and just blending that all out. And so as you can see, I am blending out all like the smaller parts first, like my chin, my cupid's bow, and the highlighted area because I don't want my eyes to crease. And so I'm going to blend that last and to make sure right after I'm going to go in with powder to make sure it does not crease at all. Alright, to make sure that everything is set in place, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going to let that bake on my face because I do not want anything to move at all. So while my face bakes, I'm going to go ahead and pick up Bad Gal Bang by Benefit and apply this on my lower lashes. This is a really good bottom lash and like upper lash mascara. I specifically like this for my bottom lashes because it separates them and also makes them really long and looks like that I have bottom lashes there. Oh. 
But as I'm still baking, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows as well. And as you can tell, my brows are not even. I'm not sure what happened because like I never went to go get them done or never plucked them myself. I guess they just grew the way it did. But it's fine because you know, they're not twins, they're sisters. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and fix these up. And so as you can tell, I'm applying the darker shadow on my outer part of my brows and then I'm gonna apply the lighter shadow in my inner brow and then I'm gonna do some light strokes upwards that way I can create some natural hairs all right so I'm done baking so I'm taking this buffing brush by real techniques and I'm just dusting away all the excess powder all over my skin and I mean in the end my skin looks awesome I think the foundation oxidized really well and I mean it matches my skin tone I really like it, it looks flawless to snatch my face and to also add some warmth, I am taking the Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette in the shade Shadow Play and I am taking that above my cheekbones higher than usual because I want to create the more illusion that my face is slimmer than it is um, whenever I apply it lower. So I am taking this up higher and applying this also above my forehead and then I'm going to take it down to my jawline. You know, got to create the three. You want to make sure that your face is warm even out. So one of my favorite parts besides highlight of course is contouring my nose and so I'm taking this flat shader brush and I'm using the ends of it and I'm dipping into the powder somber which is the lighter shade and the contour palette and so I'm going to contour on the inner ridges of my nose um, not on the outer because it, it will make it look wider instead of slimmer and so I want to create an illusion that my nose is slimmer and longer because I kind of have a wide nose. So once I finish contouring, I'm going to blend it all out to create less harshness on my face. I just want to make sure that everything is blended seamlessly and matching. I never realized how much um, work blending is. Like, look at the flick of the wrist. Excuse me. Sorry, I thought that was like pretty good to add in. Yay! Now we're done blending and looking snatched for this New Year's look. So to add some raisiness to my cheeks, I'm picking up Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Blissful and I'm just applying that on the apples of my cheeks and back to my hairline. Now of course, my favorite part, highlighter. So now I'm taking the ABH Amrezy highlighter and applying that to my cheeks and just where I want to highlight the areas of my face. And I mean, take a look at that glow. It is looking amazing. I love how it's like kind of subtle, yeah, glowy, but blinding at the same time. Is that a thing? As you can tell, I do not play around with highlighter. I literally pack it all on. I mean, it looks good. I love the glowiness. I love to have good, healthy, glowy skin. All right, so to finish off this look, I'm taking a dense stone brush and I am taking that under my eyes. I want to also accentuate um, under my eyes and to make sure everything is blended. So I'm going back in with the shade Pooter and Noir. Um, Pooter and my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and Noir and the ABH Sultry palette. And so as I am applying shadow under my lower lash line, you can tell I'm looking up this helps um, the lid on top to open up more and that way you have more free space to apply this product on your lower lash line. Because I love this highlighter so much, I am going to add that into the inner corners of my eyes to add a little bit of pop. And I mean, it really opens up my eyes more and it adds a lot more glowiness to it. And so I am really loving this look so far guys and I hope you guys too. To finish off with this look, I am using the Fenty Lip Paint in the shade Uncuffed and I really love this rose mauve color because it sets everything together. It's not too bright or it's not too dark, it's just perfect. So I couldn't stop the lip paint and so I'm taking the Fenty Gloss Balm and I'm adding it on top of my matte lips. Um, I just needed something to hydrate and add a little bit more gloss to my lips. Um, I didn't want like a really dull matte lip. 